Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight, my UK series. We've got a very exciting episode today, as you probably noticed from the tagline of this video. But before we go into that, let's do a little recap of what we worked on in episode 12. Episode 12 was purely just a rural village build. So we took some inspiration from Rick 4000's build and some of my own to sort of create a little bit of a village area here. Um, as I mentioned before, the island of White is covered in these sort of little villages, little farm houses scattered around, little tiny clusters of village houses, not even really making up villages, almost more like hamlets than what a village is. But in all in all, I was really pleased with how this came about. Some of the decals I got down and some of the effects and using Mac Welshman's new dirt tracks really did create a new sort of feeling to the, the rural builds that I've done recently. And also a big shout out to everyone who did join me on the uh, most recent video because it had been a little while since I had released a video since Christmas. So thank you for your support and thank you as well, especially to those people who dropped me a comment about the video in last week's episode. Amazing support, thank you very much for the kind comments. There's actually too many to really <laughs> list out today. Um, but yes, I appreciate all the support in that and a lot of you seem to really be enjoying these rural builds which um, I know are quite different to what I have been doing before and perhaps a lot of my other series have been. So I am with you on that. So I, I am really looking forward to doing some more rural builds and there's so much more we can work on and sort of very different types of builds. So I'm certainly gonna carry that on and uh, maybe switch between a bit of both. So maybe we'll do some rural one episode and then we'll go back to some town area. And then in the, in the end, what I'm looking for is having that combination between the two, that slow, um, that slow mold between the two where you suddenly go out of a town and it gets a little bit more scarce in terms of buildings and you know the foliage and trees start to come in. So getting that difference between the two is what I'm trying to work on and make it look realistic. But let's move on to what this episode is all about. This episode is the guest build episode 13 with Taser. And it was interesting as well, I did ask in the last episode who people thought the little screenshot was, the little, <laughs> the little teaser. And I'd say 90% of you got it right. You all said Taser, which also leads me on to the point that it does seem that all of us builders do have our own sort of feel and flair about our builds, which is really cool when you think about it. So sit back and relax and enjoy some masterclass of build from Taser. So I'm here today with the next guest builder for the Isle of Wight. I'm here with Taser. Hey Taser. Hello, how's it going? Good, thank you. Thank you very much for joining in this uh, new guest build, which people seem to enjoy, which is um, pretty fun. How, how did you get on with it? Um, it was pretty interesting. It's my first time building something uh, UK related. I haven't really done that before, so... Yeah, it was something new and interesting, for sure. Is the UK somewhere you've never visited before? No, I've been to the UK a couple of times, yeah. uh, but uh, not not really a lot like on the countryside. I've been to London a few times, but the um, the last last time I was there, I visited a castle out in the countryside. So mm -hmm. I went through some small like rural villages and stuff. So um, I have a little bit of uh, actual, you know, uh, experience. Yeah, okay. And um, was it, I'm guessing Google Maps was your best friend then in the oh, sense yeah. of yeah, for <laughs> taking sure. some inspiration, Definitely. which um, I think we're all very guilty of. And I think that's probably the, the best way really to, to learn different different areas, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so let's um, let's talk about the location. So for the people who don't, don't know much about the guest build, I, I basically give people the free realms of deciding whereabouts they build um, on, on the island. Um, taking inspiration from certain areas is kind of the idea and uh, what was the location that you decided to go for Taze and why did you pick it? So the location I went for is a small town uh, in what is it yeah like pretty much almost the most southern part of the island mm -hmm. uh, which is a town called Chale. Chale? Yep. I'm, I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it but Chale. Um, I picked that town because I don't know I felt like the size was pretty decent um, for my build, you know, I didn't really want to pick something super big. Yeah. Um, so I found that little small town there, and uh, or village, I should say, and uh, I thought it would be a a good um, sort of inspiration for what I was mm. going to build. 
And I think that's that the town, I mean, the, the little villagey area you picked is pretty much the reason why I wanted to do these sort of guest builds because the island itself is like covered with all of these very small little villages. Yeah. Um, you'd have noticed from um, Rick, Rick 4000s as well, you know, they're all very small, they're all scattered all over the place. And I think that's a, a really cool opportunity to. You know, get some people in to, to build on that so again thank you very much for for joining us oh yeah well, it was my pleasure i had a lot of fun doing it definitely Excellent. right let's um should we show off the um the build then shall we yes okay so we've got a bit of a, a sort of walk stroke drive through <laughs> and then some cinematics so the first thing you sort of see here is this this church in the corner which is quite evident typically of a, a uk build and i'm sure you came across a lot of those when you was looking at the um the google maps yeah yeah like in, in this town that I found, it had like a church, so I wanted to try and find something sort of similar to that one, but it was kind of hard trying to find anything like that on a workshop. Hmm. Um, so I just went with this, uh, I think it's called Fagnoli Church, which I believe is a French church, uh, but I thought it would work well for this uh, village as well. I don't know what you think. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, it certainly does work. I mean, like you say, there's so many different churches and types of, you know, types of builds that there are for them. I think it's difficult to have the exact one for every single village, but this one works well and the, the layout you've done is actually, you know, very typically British in that sense. So certainly works out really well. And I, I see a cheeky little um, phone box in the corner there as well. Oh yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's straight inspired from the, uh, from, uh, from Chael. Uh, <laughs> they have like one of those phone booths in there. So I thought it was, Necessary to put one of those down to really get a UK feeling, I guess. <laughs> Def definitely, definitely, yes. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, these walls as well, I really do like the... Uh, the well, these are network ones you use for Yeah, this these well. are network yeah. ones. Yeah. And they're so, I mean, the network walls in, in themselves just make life so much easier, don't they, as well? Yeah, nowadays. for sure. Okay, so we're on to the first village house. Um, I mean, the layout is pretty much exactly as I would imagine a village <laughs> sort of layout to be, the, the little garage and I mean, there's not typically very detailed gardens really, is there, with these sort of villages, quite a lot's overgrown I find. Yeah, and also I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to try and place like the, uh, like especially these types of buildings, because they look a little bit older uh, than some of the other ones, so I thought about like, or I wanted to place them a little bit closer to the road. Because usually, like the older buildings, tend to be fairly close to the road. Like, usually later on, they uh, you know went with more space uh, between yeah. the house and the road. So that's something I thought about with these older ones. Yeah, you'll find typically as well the the I mean, for example, the road you put down obviously is quite a fresh new looking road. But a lot of villages you find kind of had almost like dirt roads to begin with, and that's I think why the houses were a lot closer. Yeah, yeah, part. for sure. And then obviously as new ones get built, people want to have a front garden, such as this little bungalow here, which yep. is a, a really cute little asset. It's not one I've used that often. It's um, yeah, it's very, very unique really, isn't it? Yeah, there, there was actually some sort of building like that uh, in mm. the real location as well. And I just found this building and I thought it would be a perfect fit for it. So mm, Definitely. And uh, I love the, the random couple of dustbins out on the, um, the road yeah. as well. That's <laughs> something if I look out my window um, from home as well, you can see that very often. It's um, a very British thing to do. I'm not sure if it's the same from, from your locations. Yeah, I mean, it just gives it a bit more life, I think. So mm. I, th I thought it's pretty cool, a little detail. Yeah. And one thing as well the viewers may notice is the actual theme has changed for this episode. Um, remind me, Taze, what theme was it used again? Um, <clears throat> the one I sent you was uh, Rain Gold. That's it, yes, yeah. And to be honest, I've, I actually looked around the whole of my build with that theme, um, and it does give a very different but a nice look around it. So I'm going to have to really, I think I'm going to have to look and see if I can <laughs> work out what theme to use from the future, really. Yeah, I mean, this was the theme I went for when just building this, because this is the theme I've been using uh, for, for example, my latest project, which is Brunswald. So I don't know, I just wanted to go with this one. And I, I feel like it's a fairly generic theme as well. Hmm. Like, oh, it is, yeah. it's not something super special, <laughs> so. And I, I really like the um, the British signposts, or the sign signs yeah. here as well. Very, very iconic for, for the UK. If anyone sees that sort of style sign, they know exactly what country they're yeah. in. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Although I think the, um, the labeling will take a little bit longer from um, the Isle of Wight to get to these locations. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about that as well, but I mean, I didn't really have a lot of options with the no, names no. on them. 
it's, it's nice, really good. And this building as well, I like the choice of buildings you did go for because you didn't pick the same types of buildings. You've gone for some very different types you know, of, of actual type of buildings on the island. There's some very villagey based ones and there's some a bit more modern as well. Was there any inspiration for the types of houses you went for? I mean, I, I looked around, uh, of course, in Chael, the village, and uh, it seemed like there were like a bit of mixture between the architecture there. Hmm. Uh, but I didn't really want to go for, you know, those like super common, what do you call like terraced buildings? Yes. Yeah. Uh, like where every single building looks the same, because that's not really that realistic um, in these small, like rural villages, I think. Yes, yeah, no, you're right. So just wanted to mix it up a little bit. And this, this actual house here, out of the whole build, is my favourite. I think it's this view here. When you've got the, the trees you put down here and the bushes and the layout. And from, for some reason, this particular view just looks really good for, for me, personally. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah it's I a really it nice, nice model. Really nice model. I love the, the little road, uh, sorry, the, uh, the driveway as well. A, a sort of dirt driveway, which is a lot more common in villages. Not many villages tend to have the, you know, asphalt stroke tarmac um, driveways it is a lot more like this and that's what I guess makes it really rural isn't it yeah I just used one of those uh, it's actually like a pathway uh, from it's from McWelshman right those pathways yes yeah so I just used that one like <laughs> for the driveway for the car mm. and and then used like some mud decals there to just make the transition a little bit nicer yeah and these the um, the sort of cobble uh, in the UK they call that crazy paving the um, the pavement there the ones where it's all different types of, um, mm -hmm. of rocks that that works really well as well in these builds and it is very very common in in sort of rural Britain to see those because it's a a cheap but fancy way I guess of making little pathways yeah yeah and also like in a lot of these places I got rid of the sidewalks as well uh, because yes. I feel like in these rural villages they don't really have a lot of sidewalks so but just yeah. like in some specific areas I put sidewalks. I don't know if you've <laughs> gotten rid of some of them, but it's fine. I, I mean, it, it works without <laughs> them as well. I might have done. I did try and copy your screenshots to get it like for like, but uh, <laughs> apologies if I miss one. No, no, yeah, it, it's fine. There, it's actually, fine. But, <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think I just came down here to have a look because the, the, the way when you drive in, it, I mean, this view here driving in just looks so much like something I would see commonly in my area because I, I do live near quite a, a sort of rural area as well and it's it's just this little view here coming in it just looks really really good so realistic in my opinion yeah and I, I put down those power lines as well and I think they add quite a bit uh, to have those power lines there I don't know what do you think no, they, they really do and to be fair like when I saw this build that's not something I've actually thought about putting in just because I haven't noticed it on there but it really does give a, a really you know a really rural and UK feel so I'm definitely going to be stealing that idea from you. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, so we're just moving down here. So this is like the next part of this T-junction. So this one, again, a little bit more of a, I guess, a, a bit more of a fancier, fancier house with the uh, the planters in there as well. And um, yeah, again, another, another nice choice. I mean, we've got so much options now for these village houses on the workshop, thanks to Rick 4000 and Mac Welshman. We are really blessed, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, definitely. And... For this house here on the corner, this is actually like very inspired uh, by the house that is on this corner uh, in the real town as well. Especially with the hedge there, uh, the corner for the hedge, that's inspired uh, by oh, the nice. real one. So, And this as well, I really love this building and the way you put this together as well with the little car parks on the side and the detail around it. It's, um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a place I'd like to spend most of my afternoons in, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely seems like a pretty cool pub mm. and uh, pretty interesting building with that little, um, I don't know small like entrance I guess maybe there would be some parking underneath there as well I don't know pretty interesting design for the building yes yeah well it, that that sort of build is quite common for some UK houses they call it carports mm -hmm. and it's where you build an upstairs but not a downstairs um, right. but I, I you know in this situation it probably was more for driving through and car parking but you might see that a bit more common if you look around some UK houses. They do tend to have just an upstairs and the downstairs is sort of left to be as a garden. Yeah, yeah, definitely an interesting design on this one. And I really like the fields as well. We're going to go over here to the, um, I mean, was this a, a farmhouse? Is this, what, would, what was your sort of inspiration for this little build here? Yeah, I mean, this is just a farmhouse uh, that I wanted to put down here. You know, I wanted to have this road uh, 
that you know connects uh, to the uh, parking for the pub i wanted to have that mm. road lead somewhere uh, and I thought it would make sense to put like some sort of farmhouse out there for the fields. So I put that there. Oh, definitely. It does really, it works really well as well. I really like this part. Um, and I think that's the thing with this build in particular. It's, um, there is a lot of field and you've kind of mapped out really nicely now for me or someone else to sort of carry on that farmland, which is a you know, really cool thing. Yeah. And I made sure to put down uh, just as much farmland so you can get like an overview shot of the village, <laughs> <laughs> which I think is pretty nice. Coming from a true man who likes his cinematics, that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the detail in the gardens as well, these little trampolines and that. I mean, that's something I really do enjoy building personally, is like putting those little finishing touches in there and kind of like you're kind of creating character for that house, aren't you? Like the house on the left here, I imagine it being obviously more of a family house, having children in and the other one probably less so so you can really tell a story i think with the, the detail in these gardens yeah definitely just add a lot more character to the buildings and a lot mm. more life as well definitely yeah unfortunately there's not much life driving around this part of the <laughs> yeah island that's just yet. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know talking about it i mean these village areas you don't tend to have a lot of traffic and certainly on this island that i'm replicating it is quite a quiet island so you wouldn't have too many vehicles driving past it's not like you know people would use it to take shortcuts or so so i guess yeah. in that respect it's, it's um it's realistic <laughs> yeah and what was your sort of choice for the the foliage because some of the stuff you've used combined so well that I, that's something i have struggled with to be fair is getting some nice village foliage together was there was it just a mix and match and some worked and some didn't yeah i i don't know i i tried to find sort of the same colors uh, for the foliage, so you don't really have like some tree that totally stands out from the other ones mm. uh, So that was just sort of my thinking about it uh, I used a lot of trees that I tend to use in my own projects a lot and then I also uh, put down some like new bushes new trees that I really haven't used a lot before um, yeah. But yeah, mostly just trying to uh, match the colors uh, as, as good as I could so yeah Oh, you've done, a, you've done an amazing job. It's um a real honor to have you build on the Isle of Wight, I must say. Oh, it was a lot of fun for me to do this. I'm, I'm really happy that you wanted me to uh, to do a build here. So much fun. Oh, definitely. So uh, a question for you. Who would you like to see build next on the Isle of Wight? Um, hmm, who would I like to see next? I would like to see Press build um, something here because I know he hasn't built anything European. Um, hmm. So I challenge Press to do something here. Oh, we have a challenge. Let's, um, let's see if we can get that to reality. But Taser, thank you very much for your time in doing this build. And I look forward to seeing your next project. I'm sure everyone else does as well. Yeah, thank you so much for having me here. And uh, good luck with continuing expanding this island. Thank you very much. So guys, if you don't know who Taser is, I'm sure you already do. But a link is in the description below to look at his videos and definitely check every single series out because boy, are they good. But for me, that's it for today, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.